Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to tighten but also smoothen our face using aloe vera. Aloe vera is known as the plant of immortality, so that's why I'm gonna be using it today because of its amazing benefits and healing properties to make my skin feel better, be more hydrated, and look better. So here I'm showing you two examples of aloe vera plants that I had at home. One is from Ikea, the smaller one is from Ikea, and then uh, you could just rip it to peel off the aloe vera plant and you could see all the juices right inside of it. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be using the larger one. So there is the size difference. One I got from Ikea and the larger one I got from Whole Foods. So since this plant is a very large plant, you're gonna wanna cut it so that it is workable. So I just cut it in half and then I'm cutting off the hard thorn. So you wanna cut that off so that the aloe vera plant is easier to use. And I'm also gonna cut off the root of the plant and here is what it looks like on the inside. So now you're gonna wanna cut the plant into little pieces so that you can have a bunch of pieces to store and you can use it for different things. I'm gonna be using this to you know, firm and cleanse my face, but you can also use it for a toner. You can also add natural ingredients to make it into a face scrub and you can also eat and drink the aloe vera juices. Aloe vera has natural vitamins, enzymes, minerals, and sugars, and also amino acids that help our skin and our body. And it can help psoriasis, burns, wounds, dry and aging skin. And that's why I love this plant. So now if you wanted to make your own aloe vera juice or gel, you can just go ahead and scoop the gel right out of there and put it into something. I'm just putting it into a cup, but I'm not using this for this video I just wanted to show you guys what you could do. The aloe vera plant actually has two parts to this as well. It has the gel and it has the juices um, but right now you don't see the juices you just see the gel. The juices are like a yellowy substance a yellowy color and the gel is clear. So now we have our pieces and we are ready to go. So now you have your aloe vera pieces and you're ready to go. Make sure that you start off with a clean fresh face. Um, I do have my lashes and my eyebrows done, but my rest of my face is clean and clear. So I'm just putting it all over my face. And I have a burn mark right there on the side of my face. So hopefully this aloe vera helps to get rid of that. Um, when I burned myself a very long time ago, I just dropped the curling iron on my, not curling iron, <laughs> whoa. I dropped the curling wand on my face. But then I used aloe vera gel and I helped get rid of that burn completely. So now back to the video. So you just wanna keep putting the aloe vera gel on your face until you feel like you're ready to be done. And you're just gonna wanna sit. I sit for like about like five minutes. Just you're gonna feel it get firm and like tacky on your face. And then you just wanna wash it off. I'm taking um, just some water on like a paper towel and just wiping it off my face because it smells um, kind of bitter. So you wanna make sure that you have that off. And I can feel my face already feeling more tight, more hydrated, it feels cleansed, and it also looks smoother. So you're also gonna wanna finish off with your favorite moisturizer. And if you guys know me, if you know me, you know that Eucerin is my favorite moisturizer. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you rub the Eucerin into your face to lock in the moisture and rehydrate your face. And now we are done. My face just looks more like glowy. Um, it just looks healthier. And this is gonna help make your skin look bomb.com for the summer. So don't mind that little piece of tissue on my face. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I will be doing an updated video on all of the benefits of aloe vera. So please stay tuned for that. And please remember to subscribe.